you ever have those things in your life that you keep meaning to do or get too busy and can't seem to find the time to get to? I might have a little bit of procrastination in me and I'm really trying to be better about getting things done in a quicker way. See, I have this tangelo tree that I bought from my wife, Joy, on Valentine's Day seven years ago. It was a small tree at the time and didn't really need to be watched or pruned, so I thought. When I bought it, I noticed there were two tree trunks and thought, cool, two for one deal here. Basically, I did nothing with the tree but make sure it was watered and was growing. Not really a paying attention to it. About the third year, I noticed that there was no fruit growing on the tree and decided to find out why. I noticed that the tree was almost totally thorns. What I didn't realize is that a lot of times when they graft these tanzillo trees, they graft them into hardier plants and sometimes that is a thorn tree. So what happened was the thorn tree had outgrown the tanzillo part of the tree. I started cutting all the thorns out and found that there was only a few limbs of the tanzillo tree left. Kind of reminded me of the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. See, Colossians 3, 5 says this, So put to death the sinful, earthly things lurking within you. Have nothing to do with sexual immorality, impurity, lust, and evil desires. Don't be greedy, for a greedy person is an idolater, worshiping the things of this world. See, what I learned through this whole thing was that if I do not keep my life pruned of sin, sin can overtake my life and choke out all the fruit-bearing part of what God is wanting to do in me and through me. I now have been keeping the tree pruned and cut back. But now I realize this is an ongoing, everyday thing in my life as well. I must take up my cross daily and follow Christ and allow the Holy Spirit to point out areas I need to prune in my life. This tree is now very healthy and is covered in fruit this year. So check out this verse in Matthew 7, 16 through 20. You can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way they act. Can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? See, a good tree produces good fruit and a bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree can't produce bad fruit and a bad tree can't produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown in the fire. Yes, you can identify a tree by its fruit. So you can identify people by their actions. Are you producing good fruit? Or have you allowed the things of this world to choke out what God is wanting to do in you? Allow the Holy Spirit to prune the things out that are not godly and see what God can do in your life.